so first thing is uh, let's download the sakis 3g and emt skip profile from the internet okay so i have uh, just provided the links below in the description so you can directly download these files okay uh, let's put into a folder i have created a 3g dongle folder and copy this file over here and now let's open the winscp so that you can transfer these files to the raspberry pi so over here in raspberry pi let's create a folder that is let's say visit dongle okay now copy these two files to the visit dongle folder and let's ssh into the pi navigate into the folder that we have created now that is digit dongle so after connecting the dongle let's check it if our raspberry pi has successfully detected the dongle to do that we'll simply issue the command ls usb so over here you can see it has detected the white dongle over here in modem mode next we'll be installing usb mode switch uh into our raspberry pi usb mode switch actually helps to uh, like change the mode between mass storage mode and the modem mode of your cg dongle actually what happens some dongle comes with like us mass storage uh, mode that actually holds your drivers and all for the uh like system or something drivers for your windows or linux depending upon okay so let's again uh, to do that we'll issue the command sudo apt uh get install usb mode switch okay it says i have already installed usb mode switch so this is like if you are uh, like using the latest version of raspbian there is a raspbian jc till now so it actually be comes pre installed with the usb mode switch but if you are using an earlier version then you need to install it so next over here so first thing is let's install the sakis 3g sakis 3g is responsible for like connecting our dongle with the raspberry pi and connecting to the network okay so let's first unzip the file to do that sudo tar python x vf then the file name that is sakis 3g dot tar dot gz okay so you'll see something like over here folder like this sakis 3g or file that is a file actually so now to provide the executable permission because this is nothing but executable file so to provide it executable permission you need to issue the command sudo ch mode plus x that is a plus x stands for like issuing the uh, your executable permission to the particular file so then the file name okay uh, so we have provided the permission for the sakis 3g so let's run this sakis 3g application that is using Okay, over here we got got into the like uh, UI mode. So there is the first option, connect to 3G. Then uh, we'll select the USB device because we have connected our dongle into the USB port. Then go with bus number 001. Okay, or you can go with Y Mobile. provide the root password okay uh, i just just failed so we'll uh, run in so, uh, like so 
collision mode. Strategy. Then. device mobile interface zero okay it says we need to install pppd so to do that uh, we'll uh, just install pppd so as uh, this says you need to install PPP. So let's sudo apt-get install PPP. Okay. So yeah, over here it is uh, asking for download to download from archives from the internet. Yes. So after installation of PPP, let's again try with success strategy. Do that. So in over here it is asking for the APN. Okay. So this is like airtelgps.com that is being reported by my, my dongle which I have connected. Uh, if it is not what you are going to connect into, then you can go with custom APN. But for my case, it is airtelgps.com. So hit enter. Uh, if uh, like and if any uh, password is provided by the APN, then we are going to provide the password but for me I don't have any password or username so I just uh, go with user again password is user so now I can see uh, the E173 is connected to Yartel this is a network name that is uh, showing uh, over here the, the jungle is currently connected hit an ok yeah then over here okay, okay. now let's ping into google.com so that we will know we are having an internet connection to the dongle to do that type in ping Yep, over here you can see we are having an internet connection and we are successfully hanging google.com okay. Now one issue with uh, 3G dongle is the connection just interrupts abnormally so uh, like uh, it uh, again connects disconnect like this happens but uh, once the dongle is disconnected uh, it just need to connect it again but to manage it automatically, we are going to need the ENTS Keeper file or the ENTS Keeper application that we have downloaded earlier. So let's uh, see the ENTS Keeper file over here and again unzip it using the so it is like a sudo tar hyphen hrvf 
file name that is the EMTS Super Cardboard Distribution. Okay, so we have successfully unzipped the EMTS Keeper file. Again, we need to make the EMTS Keeper as an executable application. To do that, same thing over here sudo cheat mode plus x, then the file name that is EMTS Keeper. Now to use it, uh, use the EMTS keeper with circuit we are going to need the following command. So actually I have given this command in the description down below. So we need a few changes over here. First is uh, the USB interface that is zero. Let it be like that. USB modem uh, that is the ID of the dongle that is connected to your Raspberry Pi. So do one thing. Uh, let this uh, hit this command once. So, see. Okay. Let's get the ID of the dongle using LS USB. So this is the ID of the dongle that I have connected. 1 to D1, 1 to D6. Okay. Okay. Take the same command. Here. We are going to copy this thing. Change the ID over here. What that is? Our ID is one foot this is. Again, it may vary depending on your dongle. Then custom pin to the access point. That is for case this is here to PRS. For my case, then sim pin the pin user. Okay, then uh, the username whatever you will see earlier then appian password let's say anything then leave the other thing as is well then hit enter so this EMT skipper helps in uh, a uninterrupted connection to the 3G network by using the 3G dongle over here okay. so let's again open another system Check out uh, that if you are still having a Suji connection to our Raspberry Pi. Okay. So let's think to google.com. Yeah, over here you can see we have successfully pinged to google.com. That means we are having a live internet connection to our Raspberry Pi through the USB dongle. Okay, now next thing is uh, let's say you are like interested in connecting to network whenever your Raspberry Pi boots up and you don't want to like uh, going into the terminal mode, running all those commands uh, again and again, right? You, let's say you are you have put your Raspberry Pi in a remote place. And you don't uh, be like interested in going there and putting commands and all. Each time the Raspberry reboots or each time the power goes and comes comes back, right? So to avoid that, we can what we can do is we can put this uh, total command whatever we have entered over here into the like you can use front tab or uh, you can use other features of the Debian so that this particular command over here runs whenever the Raspberry Pi boots up. Okay. So to do that. Just copy this command and so to run the yeah, like CG connection or to connect it to the CG network by default when the Raspberry reboot you can use the RC dot local file sudo and of slash etc slash 
So over here, just copy the command that you want to run, run the Raspberry Pi reboot. And over here, uh, after F exit 0, just paste your command that you want to run when the Pi reboots. So over here, just replace the like MTS skipper with the path, the total path to the MTS skipper file. That is home slash pi slash the folder containing the yes, MTS. That is Jiji Donga. Now reboot the Pi and let's see if we have a like working internet connection after the Pi reboots. So actually connecting to the internet or the CG network might take some time after the Pi boots. So let's see, uh, let's wait for like uh, the till the dongle connected can get connected to the network. So let's check again. So guys, let's check again. Just full thing to google.com. So now you can see we are having a working connection, working internet connection, and that has been like connected to the network automatically when the Pi booted up. Okay. So that's all, guys. That's all with this. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, just give me one second and hope you have liked my video. If so, just hit the thumbs up button. Or if you don't. There is a thumbs down button for you also. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest updates. Okay, see you next time with my new content. That's all guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.